Welcome to the 2020 Mathematical Investigation Competition Virtual Awarding Ceremony. To start with our program, may I invite everyone to stand for the singing of the National Anthem, to be followed by a doxology, then the singing of the Regional Hymn.
majestic mountains, blessed in nature's glory fountains, blooming flowers and verdant hills, is a region of murmuring rills. Here to freedom loving people, strong or bond, it's hard to topple. To welcome us and to formally open the program, may we have the Assistant Regional Director of DepEdCar, Sir Florante E. Vergara. Greetings of a great morning to one and all. The Regional Office family, headed by our esteemed and intelligent motherly Regional Director, Dr. Estela Leon Carino, wish to congratulate all the winners and their coaches to this year's Mathematical Investigation Competition winners. Through the Curriculum Learning Management Division, led by Dr. Cal Carmel Meris and the coordinator, Dr. Brian Hidalgo, you were able to implement this activity amidst the pandemic. I also would like to congratulate the participants and their parents, our young math wizards who demonstrated mathematical prowess amidst the intense competition among their peers in the different categories. Whenever I see such outstanding achievements as demonstrated by this year's young math wizards, I am always reminded of how even the top experts can be very wrong when it comes to predicting trends in technological development and where technology will bring us next. Even experts have often underestimated the creativity and brilliance of young people that will come after them. Thus, we recall in 1895 when Lord Kelvin said, and I quote, heavier than air flying machines are impossible. Then in 1900, Charles Duell, the fourth commissioner of the U.S. Patent Office, said, Everything that can be invented has been invented already. And even the famous scientist Albert Einstein in 1932 remarked, There is not the slightest indication that nuclear energy will ever be attainable. And then in 1981, the late Bill Gates said, 640k ought to be enough for anybody and today what is happening now everybody wants to own 
these inventions, gadgets, and modern technologies just to facilitate every activity in their businesses, in their house, and of course in organizations. And even much more in the schools. They have all been proven wrong because young wizards like you, my dear winners, have in this year's math challenge will always emerge. Bright young men and women will always find new ways of doing things. For instance, some experts believe that within the next 20 years, the silicon chip will reach its absolute physical limit in building faster, smaller, and cheaper microcircuits. But even now, scientists are working in the area of photonics to develop effective beams of laser light to replace electrical impulses to process even greater amounts of data across smaller computer components that is used in medicine, military, and other companies. In the not too distant future, my dear participants, another technology called quantum computing may relegate the silicon chip to the museum. Quantum computing or subatomic engineering involves knitting together the groups of crystalline molecules which can store electrical charges to make them perform like silicon chips. And I'm proud to share you that one of my nephews is now having his doctorate in photonics engineering in the school in Denmark. With quantum computing, it would be possible to get the computational power of 100 workstations to the size of a grain of SN. Imagine that. These technological developments are made possible by our increasing knowledge of science and mathematics. For this reason, I am both honored and pleased to be part of this worthwhile activity. Therefore, I urge you, my dear young math wizards, to continue what you have started. Innovative, investigate, hard work, discipline, and teamwork anchored on the unique culture of the Cordilleran learner. I also look forward to the day that you will be able to participate and make meaningful contribution to your respective schools, to your community, and compete in higher international advanced mathematics competitions. Congratulations, winners, and I wish you all the best. Welcome to this year's Mathematical Investigation Competition Awarding Ceremonies. Iyaman. To give us an inspirational message, may we have the Regional Director of DepEdCar, Dr. Estela L. Carino. Naimbangal daw, tega amin kakapsa. The sunong edukalidad has always been the battle cry of the Department of Education that aims to address the needs for quality basic education in the country. Quality, particularly on the learning outcomes of the Filipino learners. Today, I laud all of you teachers and parents for you have responded to this calling, one in which you are transforming the lives of our children. Through this activity, you have allowed our children to become leaders and positive contributors of the future. To our dear learners, my loudest congratulations on your well-deserved winning in the 2020 Mathematical Investigation Competition. You have outshined the abilities of others as you emerge as victors of this event. In these modern times, we are being confronted with various challenges, especially in the education sector. Thus, society urgently needs to shift its view of mathematics. It is about time that we regard numeracy the same as we treat literacy. We need to consider mathematics as vital to compete in this modern world. To our learners, you must understand that our everyday experiences 
are governed by mathematical structures. According to research, creation of computer games involves mathematical principles like geometry, vectors, matrices, and physics, among other applications. Another important example is when doctors like medical diagnosis through mathematical principles behind machines that are read results of our blood samples, doctors pres prescribes medications and other medical procedures to help us recuperate based on these transcribed results. Thus, mathematics is an important key for humans to survive and as young learners, your love for mathematics will allow you to explore its many applications and discover innovations in the development of our society. To our hardworking teachers, my salute to your invaluable efforts in teaching and guiding our learners, even amidst these unprecedented challenges caused by this COVID-19 pandemic, your ingenuity, resilience, passion, and strength have kept us thriving in providing quality education to our learners. Likewise, notable commendations to the Curriculum and Learning Management Division in planning various activities and projects for mathematics teachers and students in the pursuit of excellence in mathematics education. Finally, as partners in educating our learners, together we raise the bar in providing a venue for our Cordilleran learners to strive for excellence in mathematics and become victors in this field in both national and international arena. God bless us all in our endeavor towards the fulfillment of the Sulong Itukalidad program. Great day once again. Before we start with awarding of certificates and medals to the winners of the 2020 Mathematical Investigation Competition, allow me to present the mechanics of the competition. The competition is open to all grades 4 to 12 learners from both public and private schools in DepEdCar. The theme for this year's competition is providing quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating mathematics education for all in the new normal. There are two entry categories. We have the individual and group for the competition per key stage. For key stage two, it is open to grades four to six learners. For key stage three, it is open to grades seven to 10 learners. And for key stage four, it is open to grades 11 to 12 learners. The SDOs shall conduct their own competition for mathematical investigation per key stage. Only the first place winner in each category per key stage at the SDO level shall advance to the regional level. All entries must conform with the contest guidelines defined in RM266 Series 2020. All entries that do not conform with the guidelines shall be automatically eliminated from the competition. The submission of entries at the regional office shall be done online. All entries shall be sent through email debedcar.mathteducation at gmail.com. There will be three winners at each category per key stage. First place, second place, and third place. The winning entries will be receiving certificates of recognition and medals. Now we are ready for the awarding of certificates of recognition and medals to all the winners. For Key Stage 2, here are the winners for the individual category. For Key Stage 2, here are the winners.
Here are the winners for the group category. For key stage 3, here are the winners for the individual category. For key stage 3, here are the winners for the group category. For Key Stage 4, here are the winners for the individual category. For Key Stage 4, here are the winners for the group category. Congratulations to all the winners. To conclude our virtual awarding ceremony, may we have the Chief of the Curriculum in Learning Management Division of DepEdCar, Mom Carmel Marys for the closing prayer. Almighty God and Father, with all praise and thanksgiving, we offer to you this accomplishment. Thank you for the unending guidance, the multitude of grace, and undivided direction provided to the school composed of the learners, parents, and teachers. May these math investigations not only remain as our prized success, but rather as symbols of more hard work so that these learners will reach greater heights, governed by sums of faith and multiples of creativity. In the end, may they make a positive difference in the lives of their fellow learners and their community as a whole. All this we humbly pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Debedkar Regional Office, through the Curriculum in Learning Management Division, wishes to extend its warmest congratulations to all the contestants, especially to the winners. Also, may we take this moment to thank all the people who made this activity a success. To our Regional Director, Dr. Estela Carino, our Assistant Regional Director, Sir Florante Vergara, the Chief of the Curriculum in Learning Management Division, Ma'am Carmel Marys, and to our judges, thank you so much. And to everyone, thank you for joining us in this virtual awarding ceremony of winners of the 2020 Mathematical Investigation Competition. Thank you and Merry Christmas.